mm-hmm. just sticking out of the ground. I suppose <laughs> you'd wheel them along, wouldn't you? Because you need the throwing to be in a specific place. So you know, now we're talking about a trebuchet, are we? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's you know, it's just a development stage. I mean, we, my, we, my, my medieval weaponry isn't knowledge isn't what it used to no, be, but I'm no. pretty sure that's called a trebuchet. We, okay, well, we, pitch side trebuchets. Yeah. They've got a counterweight, haven't they, Trevor Shears? You think so, yeah. Have, I mean, it's getting are we, are we all right prohibitively with a re- expensive. Are we all right with a real gun? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that could right? work. Yeah, yeah. could work. Not at the moment. Uh, do you know what a real gun is, Mark? <laughs> oh, I, mean, I worry. Of it's course just, I do. He's got one in his shed. Yeah. <laughs> got loads of them. Yeah. Can't it's move It's going to be a disaster any day soon. <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, Peter, what's your answer? Um, I'd like to replace Bovril with miso. Okay. Okay, it's, it's the most li- Pete Donaldson answer I've ever heard, and <laughs> you, a, you have now fully betrayed your own people. It's lighter. That is you going full circle. No, gravy's different. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's lighter, it's a perfect vessel for clams, and we don't eat enough clams in the British diet, yeah. I think. Uh, Football so yeah, certainly that really, lacks clams. <laughs> well, there's not enough clams. Do so you want to bring, bring in the clams? Bring in the clams, guys. Mm. I'm the clam man, and I'm ready to get clammy. <laughs> <laughs> well, your hands have always been very clammy. Mm. All right. I see someone's not turned over a new leaf for 2016. <laughs> you're talking about trebuchets. Yeah. Exactly. So you're not changed either. I happen either. to know there's a, a, a small but sizable minority of our listenership who like talking about medieval weaponry. Yeah, yeah. and, and they're, the perverts, them. they're the perverts who dress up in D&D stuff and go and oh. hit each other in the, in the forest. Judgy, judgy. <laughs> What's judgy, wrong judgy. What's wrong with a bit of LARP? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, oh, are furries. Although if you are a furry, that's also fine. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, Pete, next weekend, I'm a brawny. Come, come LARPing with me. <laughs> come you'll brawny. Knock, you'll knock your socks off. <laughs> our people they don't get... wear socks. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're people... metal sacks. <laughs> metal leg cups. It'll knock, it'll knock your deer skin boots off. <laughs> <laughs> our people getting harder to hit in the forest. Yeah. yeah. That's what I want to know. so. Lightning bolt. Yeah. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Shall I say my answer? Yeah, go for it. Um, I would like to see the the FA have a... I, I suppose it's more... Um, what else have I got here? Um, oh, Joe Hall's been in touch. Pete, this is a bit of a dig at me and the sort of you, I think. He says, my low lot of the week was the trebuchet chat on last week's ramble. Uh-oh. At least get your medieval era mechanical artillery devices right, guys. You've embarrassed yourselves there. Can I be the ramble's official military historian? Well, Joe, you've not expanded yeah, on that. Anyone can say that. that. And, and also his attitude's not great there. <laughs> If, no. if because any- you just we're you- generally really polite to each other, aren't we? <laughs> if, if anything, the rocks hit you, Luke, and it's bounced into me. But he's not. Yeah, he's from not the ex- trebuchet. He's not expanding on it at all. Yeah. We give it, let's give him a chance to redeem himself next week. What's the yeah. one that Robin of Loxley and uh, that's oh, a and trebuchet? Yeah. That, yeah, that's well, a trebuchet. Is that no? It's a catapult, them, isn't it? It, when they it wasn't them over the That was just a spring, wasn't it? It was just pulled back. Oh yeah, the trebuchet is the big one with the pulleys and stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't with the counterweight. The catapult is just the tension of the the wood, isn't it? I think it's pulled back with like a like a yeah like a sort of like a bow and arrow type thing. Oh god, we're digging ourselves a massive yeah. wall. Just find out for next week, guys. <laughs> yeah. Don't Anyone else? Any more, Luke? Um, no. This one is from uh, Tom Ibbotson. He says, "Dear Ramblers, listening to last week's ramble, I was disheartened hearing the email sent into you regarding your conversation about medieval siege weaponry. As a medieval it's history, run run, isn't it? as a medieval, <laughs> hopefully, as a medieval history master student specialising in warfare, uh, I was thrilled that such a topic was brought deviant. up in two successive weeks. Yeah. It was definitely a brace of highlights for me. However, I feel like I am almost qualified enough to add some amendments that would hopefully put this matter to rest. Uh, Settle in. Yeah. <laughs> Firstly, I would like to discredit the sender of last week's email. Beef. Email. Oh. Oh, 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 get your misses yeah. out. Uh, as you rightly pointed out, he did not expand on his point nor provide any evidence to support his claims, which is shoddy historical discourse and unacceptable <laughs> for someone aspiring to be the Ramble's official military historian. Oh, no. I think we found a new military historian, guys. Uh, well, wait to see. Right. To clarify, a trebuchet does use a counterweight. Yes. A catapult is the one with the spoon looking mechanism and uses a winch system, and a ballista is the bow and arrow shaped one that Luke mentioned would have usually launched a spear, like in the beginning of a gladiator. I hope this helps, and if you do require an official Ramble historian, I would gladly wear that mantle with pride. All the best, Tom Ibbotson. P.S. I've attached a picture of some of my books on this topic that will hopefully give my claims a show of legitimacy. <laughs> oh, wow. And he has actually attached my pictures goodness. of books. Amazing. Yeah, can't, well, can't beat that, Tom really. Ibbotson, new um, medieval weaponry I think expert. I think so. the Ramble. Put yeah. it in your Twitter bio, Google his name, buy his books. Buy his yeah. books. Yeah. Are we going to make sure that the other lads ha- um, had his um, history wiped? I can't remember his, his name, but I want him to come yeah. in. He's got the right to reply. He has. <laughs> it. It's out there. <laughs> They've always got the right to reply. Oh, exactly. What an exciting scrap this is going to be. But they yeah, don't exactly. have the right to have their email read out on the yeah. show. Yeah. We've changed the name to the medieval siege weaponry ramble. <laughs> Let's have the email. Right, so a couple of weeks ago, um, Joe Hall piped up with some many. We, we started talking about medieval weapons. I can't remember why. We got into not, not important. Joe Hall got in touch we, and, we got and, and, with deep. a couple of comments. And then Tom Ibbotson last week fired back 
um, correcting Good. Joe Hall um, on his on his knowledge and his and his uh, and his imparting of that knowledge. Yeah. Um, and Joe Hall's got back in touch. Oh, Good. Oh, we, we are me. merely we are merely the, the, the medieval messenger pigeon. Take yeah. it to yeah. the We're mortar guys. Conduit. Take, slash encourager stirrers. Taking <laughs> notes from kingdom to kingdom. Take it to Bosworth. <laughs> yeah. He says, dear Ambrose. <laughs> As a historian with many published works, oh, oh, it, oh, it, gets, it, gets, it gets better than this. Good, it gets better than this. Me. As an historian with many published works and a previous stint on Time Team, under oh, my belt. Oh. There it is. <laughs> I feel I'm duty bound to defend my honour against the accusations so amateurishly <laughs> levelled at me in last week's ramble by that reprobate Tom Ibbotson. <laughs> We were all master students once, keen to show off our developing intellect in front of the bigger boys. He's rattled him. Yet I fear young Ibbotson has metaphorically <laughs> wriggled on the ramble carpet and his puppy-like eagerness to do just this. Oh, my goodness. I'll pass over the, bo- the bulk of his know-it-all email and focus his still on the accusation that I am somehow a purveyor of shoddy hysterical discourse. Oh. In, t- in quotes. He's gone strong. It seems that Mr. Ibbotson has come to this conclusion because I did not provide any evidence to support my trebuchet-related claim. <laughs> The fact is, I made no claims at all in my original comment, which was simply a lament that the ramblers seemed so hazy on the fascinating topic of medieval siege <laughs> weaponry. He's having a dig at us. I cannot therefore be accused of failing to provide evidence to support a claim when I did not in fact make one. <laughs> this is basic logic and requires no training in the historical method of inquiry to understand. <laughs> Ibbotson's own siege referee info is also rather rudimentary. He didn't even mention cannons! Which, given his previous description, he'd probably describe as the metal ones with the hole in the end. They're playing some lovely stuff. Finally, as I couldn't locate the many books he claims to have written... I'll generously assume that his magnum opus on trebuchets is written under a nom de guerre. Oh, my goodness. And not a self-published collection of scribblings cut and pasted from his GCSE homework. Oh! Thank you, sir. Joe Horn, goodbye, good day. I said good day. That is astounding. That wow. is a dig worthy of a former member of Time Team. Oh, yeah. my. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on. Uh, do, you want a co- do you want a couple of emails? Really yeah, quick? I'm absolutely oh. knackered after oh. that. Yeah, yeah, thank you are. goodness, mate. Go on, then. Uh, Des says, uh, Green Ramblers, my...